So, go in here. Hello. Um, I am in town for a few days and we're just going to meal prep today and get, or I should say batch cook. And I'm kind of walking through this with my mom so that she can, what do we call it? Prepare? Learn. Plan ahead. Yeah. Just to help her because she gets really busy with the farmer's market and writing her book, which is going to be out soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, with all of that going on, it's good to just get in the habit. So we're just going to kind of walk through it together and show her how easy it is. And I figured I would take you along with us while we're doing this today. Right, where the um, trash can is. Yeah. I'll all right, so my mom has these potatoes that are definitely on the last few days. So we're gonna go ahead and cook them. They're not too far gone. And we are gonna start by peeling them and then this is what our cheese sauce is gonna be based off of is potatoes. Mm -hmm. You get my little glass of wine. Is this on film? Yes. It is? Yes. Oh my gosh. You can't keep dropping them in the trash can and then also eating them. Well, we're gonna clean them. It's okay. We don't vibrate the level of a germ. Oh, that's right. <laughs> My mom has been buying this. How long have you been buying Annie's pasta? Okay. Oh, this is like the original gluten free. Yeah, many years. I mean, at Probably least about 15. 15. Yeah, when we started on the gluten. Free. Well, when you were really attempting gluten-free, right. Yeah, but you were the really pioneer. Pioneer <laughs> of it. So, I really do recommend sticking with pasta. It has the most minimal ingredients possible. So, this one has brown rice and water. I also really like this one by Barilla. It's a chickpea rotini, and it only has chickpea flour in it. So, this is a really good one. And then for our macaroni tonight, I did just buy the elbow pasta because it's cute and this one also has chickpeas, tapioca, pea protein, and xanthan gum. But not bad. So we'll use this one for our mac and cheese. These potatoes look like, oops, they look like they're going <laughs> bad and we don't want to waste food. So that's why yeah. we're going to go ahead and cook them. And we're going to put these in a big steamer pot right there. And that will be for the convenience throughout the week because when you pre-steam your potatoes you can bake them in the oven and have them done and crispy in a matter of like you know 15 minutes um, whereas if you were to bake them from a raw potato it would take a really long time so here we have some broccoli and a pro tip is to just share the same pot so you want to go ahead and put it in the um, Potatoes. So we're just sharing the same pot and by putting the potatoes underneath and then you have broccoli on top, they should steam about the same time. Okay. Alright, the next thing we're going to batch cook are these sweet potatoes. These are like enormous. And we're just going to wash them and cut them and then roast them in the oven to just have a little bit of variety throughout the week. Squash, butternut squash is like incredibly dense. Yeah, okay. Do cinnamon on the center ones, and then these are just gonna be plain. Yeah, cinnamon and salt. Okay. These as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a little. At a 425 degree. We're making some hum homemade hummus. Homemade. Very easy. You want to always make sure that you stir your tahini before you introduce it to your blender or your food processor when you're making syrup hummus. Really, anything. Otherwise, any, you come any out with a different texture. Yeah. Really, because it's it separates really quickly. And then here, I'll get this. Oh, you got it. Yeah. And then we'll do lemon. Do you have a lemon squeezer? Like a cookie? No, I do not. And then um, we also need cumin. So 
So our potatoes are done. They're knife tender or fork tender, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then our broccoli is there, which will be used for our dinner tonight. And what else? Our cheese sauce is on the way, but our blender. My mom's blender is broken. It's a shame. Anybody know how to fix it? Let us know, please. Sterling, we don't need your help, buddy. Right, these are our sweet potatoes. Roasted and done, and we'll just let these cool. Can you usually tell they're done when you start to see mm -hmm. the sugar kind of seeping out. Mm -hmm. And they get really gooey, it's delicious. Okay. Rivets in here. That looks good enough. That looks really good to me, doesn't it? Yeah. So, a recap, we have our roasted sweet potatoes here, and then we have Brussels sprouts, these are steamed potatoes, hummus, these are just extra potatoes that we made our cheese sauce with, big vat of, is that what you call that, a vat of spinach, and here we have our leftover macaroni and cheese from the night, a little bit of broccoli left over, and that's everything. Mm -hmm. So, cool. These are the leftover steamed potatoes with the leftover cheese sauce and some fresh spinach. Tossed all together, created a new dish out of them, added a few other ingredients.